everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today's video is going to be testing beauty works products um so i've got a few products here i'm not gonna lie this first one i've already tried because when it came i just really wanted to give it a try yeah when it came, i just really wanted to give it a try straight away and i'm not gonna lie I will never use any other brush now. Like, I am obsessed with it. Like, my hair looks disgusting right now. But, like, oh my god, it is amazing. It's, like, so good. I'd suggest using this even over a Tangle Teaser. Um, so this is the Beauty Works X Molly May Oval Brush. Um, Oval Bristle... Bristle... Oval Bristle... Brush... Bris bristle Brush. Anyway, um... The other product I haven't actually tried, so I've got, I've actually got these in travel sizes because if they're not very good I didn't want to like waste so much money on them. So I've got the Argan Oil Shampoo with Milk Protein Argan Oil and Keratin, Sulfate Free. And then I've also got the same in the conditioner. Um, so what these actually claim to do... So the shampoo claims to... Oh, it claims to nourish the hair. Apparently it's meant to leave your hair feeling full of body and shine. Um, it says to be careful with, um, like if your hair's just been toned or um, pre-bonded extensions. But my hair's never been coloured, never had extensions put into my hair or anything like that. So I'm fine. The conditioner also claims to do the same. So it, it claims to um, your hair an intense glossy finish, great, great softness shine and re-owned apparently so this i'm expecting good things from these they are actually really tiny like this is the size of my hand and this is the size of this but i feel like i'd get a few washes out of these maybe but also i ordered the pearl nourishing argan oil mask with milk protein argan oil and keratin again um this is actually a mask you put it on after you've washed your hair so it says apply a generous amount to clean towel dried hair focusing on mid lengths and ends apply product evenly comb through comb through blah 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 so leave for five minutes and rinse thoroughly with warm water so i'm gonna wash my hair with those and then when i come out the shower i'm just gonna dry my like kind of towel dry my hair and put it at the ends come back and let you know what I think and then I'm going to go and rinse it off but then also this is the thing I'm most excited about so it's a 10 in 1 miracle spray delivers 10 benefits in one product so it's meant to be anti-frizz moisturising glosses and shines prevents split ends straightens hair protects from heat nourishes and restructures antioxidant and anti-aging extra body and volume some superior styling so this claims to do a lot so i'm expecting amazing things from this i actually love sprays for like it's basically for when i've washed my hair and then i'll like towel dry it and then spray this over so yeah i'm gonna get in the shower right now because that is needed and i'm going to use these and then i'll come back to you when i've got the mask on um and then obviously i'll wash it back off so i'll be back with hopefully brand new hair so guys as you can tell i am back and i um i use the shampoo and conditioner in the shower obviously and i then put the mask on when i towel dry my hair left it for about it said five minutes but i left it for about 10 just to like that's what i'd usually do with my mask so i thought i'd just give it like a fair try um and as you can see this brush i already knew it was amazing but it just brushes through your hair so nicely like so so nicely so i'm just gonna brush through now to be honest with shampoo and conditioner I, I can never tell how good they are until i've dried my hair so they were actually a really nice colour. They had like a shine to them, which I don't know if that's what's going to make my hair maybe look shiny. Um, oh, got a bit of a knot there. Um, but yeah, they did make my hair feel really soft, like when I was washing them out. Um, but yeah, I'm now going to spray the Miracle Spray. I'm going to towel dry my hair a little bit more. Like completely towel dried it. I'm just going to spray some of this so it says to shake 
um, and just it says apply it all over so yeah oh this is quite like hard to press down I like to get it at the ends quite a lot um, I don't usually spray these kind of sprays at the top but I mean it says all over so I want to put a generous amount and just like kind of push it into my hair so I'm going to dry my hair and I'll be back I'm going to try and do a cool little transition here three two one was that good was that good mm, I hope that was a good transition but wow I'm not gonna lie I am extremely impressed like my hair feels amazing like I feel like I need 100% to buy those in the bigger bottles of shampoo and conditioner but I do think the main thing was actually this um, 10 in 1 miracle spray um, and I know that you can actually get this from Pretty Little Thing also. It's obviously Beauty Works, but it's sold on Pretty Little Thing. Um, I I think this is what's made my hair feel so amazing. It literally feels so silky. I, I literally wish you could feel through the camera. Like, I don't know if you can see, but like, like my hair does need a cut. But like, the sh it's 100% got a shine to it. But wow, it's amazing. So... To be honest, I don't know if the shampoo and conditioner are like the main thing or it's just a combination of these two. Like this brush, like, sorry it's got some of my hair in it, like, that's actually vile, right, yeah. Anyways, my hair just falls out so much but like it's, I don't know if you can tell but like the bristles on it, I don't usually use brushes like this but oh my god it's amazing. I didn't think a brush could change my life so much but yeah. Um, wow, I feel like my hair just feels amazing. Like it's never felt this good ever. Ever. I feel like I've been in the salon and got my hair done. Anyway, I'm now going to get ready and answer some questions that I've been sent in on Instagram. Um, perfect time to plug my Instagram. I'll leave it on the screen here and down below. Um, because like I said, I asked a lot of questions on my Instagram and to do with my YouTube over there. Um, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway very shortly over on my Instagram also. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get ready and answer some questions. Okay, so I've just obviously tied my hair back and I've already gone in with my day cream. Um, this is the Protect and Perfect Intense Number 7 cream with SPF 5, SPF 5, SPF 15, um, Hypoallergenic. So that is just this one. Uh, I actually get these creams like every single Christmas. Um, and yeah, I love them. The day cream and the night cream, I love them both. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go into my makeup now, but I'm actually not gonna go too into detail about the makeup. I'm just gonna answer questions that I've been asked over on my Instagram. Um, so I'm gonna get a few up. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I'm going in with and then I'm gonna kind of focus on the questions. So lately I've been using this Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight, it's like an illuminator, um, so basically I just put this on like so random, like where I want to be highlighted, um, and so I just put that on my face and then I go straight in with my foundation, so I use the Fresh Nude Foundation by the, from the Body Shop and I use it in Fiji Sand 026. Um, and then I go in with my foundation and I literally just blend the foundation and the highlight together and it makes such like a nice combination. So anyway, first question. Okay, so if you could tell your high school self anything, what would it be? Well, a lot of things. Right, anyway, I'm going to go in with this. I'm also using the Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush F80 and I'm just going to blend with that. So if I could tell my high school self anything, it would 100% be do not take yourself too seriously. Like literally do not take yourself too seriously and school is not like everything. Like school is definitely not 
life like it really isn't i feel like when you're in school it's easy to be in the bubble of oh like you've got to be friends with everyone and like you've got to impress everyone but as soon as you leave school trust me no one cares no one cares and like yeah so they shouldn't because everyone goes off and does what they want to do and i'm not gonna lie you don't really see hardly anyone from school like unless you really make an effort to like i know those people in school that everyone says it like oh yeah we'll definitely see each other when we leave school like oh my god yeah we'll do something like every weekend no you won't trust me you really won't also it's funny because i was talking about this the other day um to like my boyfriend and my sister saying like i used to get up for school so early and like get right get a shower wash my hair i used to wash my hair every day um wash my hair do my makeup like make sure i felt like i looked my best for school literally for school like for what like literally for what no one like i was gonna say no one cares like i cared <laughs> but like why like i wasn't even doing it to impress anyone like i literally wasn't like i don't know if it was like to make myself feel better but oh my god no i literally don't know why i did that like i really don't but hey how you have any learn also i would definitely tell my high school self high school self to stop stressing um about like the most stupid things because i would just stress about not not like exams i'm not gonna lie i didn't oh what is that i didn't really stress about exams because i'm not um very academic like i'm really not i'm not clever like school wise like i'm really 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 not um and i did have to try really hard to even get like the most basics um i'm also now going in with my concealer so this is the conceal and define by revolution in c7 um so yeah mainly just do what the hell you want to do like when i was in school i loved youtube and i would want to do youtube so badly but i was just too scared what everyone would say so that's why i didn't and i just wish i started sooner because i love doing it i knew i'd love doing it um because i like, love watching people but you know um, i feel like everyone was just worried about what everyone would say like when they're in school and if you're watching this and you're in school do not worry everyone was in the same boat at one point but just do whatever the hell makes you happy and yeah so yeah i'd say a lot to my high school self but and also um like high school boys like just don't try and impress boys in high school just don't because boys are so immature um i find in school anyways uh moving on do you wear hair extensions um no i don't i used to wear hair extensions like i say when i was in school i used to put hair extensions hair extensions in for school when i was in about year i think it was year eight or year nine so like how old's that i don't know how old that is but like second and third year in high school because i had this stage in life when i was a vegetarian fun fact um and to be honest i just didn't eat a lot of foods like i really was fussy with certain foods um so i was a vegetarian for about six years and i just my hair just would not grow it really would not grow like i tried so many hair vitamins i tried everything like if i can find a picture i'll insert it but my hair would just grow to here would not move from there like it really wouldn't um so yeah and fun fact as as soon as i started eating meat well not mainly meat like mainly like just more introducing more food into my diet my hair grew so quick so quick it was crazy um but also um i feel like when i stopped using my extensions as well around that time and i feel like because they like pull underneath your hair here um because they pull underneath your hair they put a lot of pressure on your hair so i feel like my hair was snapping um 
yeah, I used to wear really long extensions. Well, to be honest, I used to wear extensions to like shorter than my hair even now. And yeah, I don't know what how the hell it started growing, but to be fair, it grew quite rapidly when it started. Um, so yeah, now I've got a really big phobia of having my hair cut because I don't want to go back to that. Like I really don't. It was such a long process. Anyway, um, no, I don't use extensions. Such a long winded answer. Biggest pet peeve. Hmm. Anyone that knows me know my pet peeves. Oh my god, loud eaters. I cannot stand it. Like, I, I, I really can't stand it. Like, it actually knocks me sick. Like, do you not eat with your mouth open? Like, why? Or, like, scraping teeth on the foot, on their fork. Basically, just any, like, disgusting noises. Um, oh, biting nails. Like, I hate it so much. But I think that's because I watched a video once on how much germ is, like, behind your nails. And... Um, I just can't get that picture out of my head. Anyway, that is pet peeve. But pet peeve as in... I don't know. Yeah, that, I think that's it really. Pet peeve. Like, just like, disgusting noises. And like, I don't know if this is a pet peeve, but I'm really bad with smells. Like, I hate, um... Like, when you smell a really bad smell, like, I literally can't... Oh, I hate it so much. Um... Anyway, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder um, and I'm going to answer the next question. What's your most embarrassing memory? Hmm. Embarrassing memory. I'm trying to think. Do I have one? I, I mean, I've definitely had embarrassing memories, but I really don't know. I don't think I have like one specific embarrassing memory. When I was younger, I used to fall over all the time. like. I was so clumsy, I'd fall over every single day and like, yeah, all the time. To be honest, I'm still really clumsy now but I don't fall over as much. <laughs> um, but one specific embarrassing memory, I don't really have one that stands out to be honest. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty. But do you know when you just come to think of it on the spot and you can't think of any? Um, but yeah, maybe... That's a lot of powder. Um, oh my god, I really don't know. I'll come back to that one. If I think of one, I'll let you know. But anyway, another question. Um, how do you stay in shape? Oh my Jesus. I've got, how do you stay in shape? How do you stay motivated to keep exercising? Exercise routine. Um, what is your diet like? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I have so many questions like that. Um, honestly, it has been the longest journey of my, like, it's been my whole life. I was going to say of my life, it has been my life. Um, my whole life I have struggled with the way I look weight-wise. Um, not being like, oh, feel sorry for me, but I really have. And, like, I've just never been happy with my body, never. Um... And I've had such a up and down roller coaster with exercising, food, like it's been a long one. And that is a whole another video in itself. But um anyway, before I start talking, I'm gonna now go in with the doll gimme some bronzers in medium deep and medium. I mix them together. Um so yeah, it started when when I was um Oh, and also my brush. Where have they gone? Am I being done? Where have they gone? Oh, found them. Um, the Doll Beauty brushes. I'm gonna use um these two Doll Beauty brushes, DB1 and DB3. Um, so yeah, when I was how old was I? about six six seven um i was i was a chubby kid like i was and i don't know if i was overweight i think i was just like when you're a kid like you're just chubby aren't you and like i love sweets like what kid doesn't love sweets but anyway um yeah when i was younger um recently we've been watching the video camera footage actually and i've actually yeah i was a chubby kid anyway um and 
my mum and dad um, started exercising when I was about that age. They both got a gym membership um, and started going to the gym a lot. Um, mainly my mum had just started because my dad had already gone in the past. Um, but obviously she'd had me and my sister and she decided she wanted to start going to the gym. Um, and we got a leaflet through the door for a fitness class down the road, um, which actually was my high school. Um, obviously, I was in primary school at the time, but later down the line was my high school. And it was the sports hall side of it. And um, the leaflet was basically for a circuit training class. Um, and it was just really interesting to my mum and dad because obviously it was hard finding time to do exercise with two young kids, um, a six year old and a four year old. So it said all kids are welcome, like if you have children you can bring them along. So yeah, we did that and um, we ended up going for years. Well, we were still go we're still going now. Obviously we're in quarantine so we're not going, but we are still going now. Um, we started going once a week um, at first and then we basically moved to somewhere else because he stopped doing it at the one just down the road from me. Um, and yeah, it literally moved to like, I'd say, it was, I'd say it's about, it takes about 20 minutes to get there. Um, to ev we started going then every Tuesday and Thursday. Sorry, I'm now adding the same bronzers onto my eyelids. Um, as like an eyeshadow. Um, so yeah, we then started going just as obviously still going as family. Then it changed to, I don't know what age we was now, but as it, the years went on, we started then going twice a week, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, like I said, and that was just a, like that was just our then routine. But in between this time, bear in mind that this, at this point I wasn't focusing on my food or anything like that, like I was still eating whatever the hell I wanted. Um, by the way, I'm just going in with all the dull beauty fluffy brushes and kind of just winging it. Um, so yeah. In this time, I then was obviously not focusing on my food. I was still young. I was still in primary school at this point. And then as I went to high school, I was obviously still going. Um, and yeah. And then when I turned, my mum and dad um, go to a gym near us. And when I, you have to be 16 to join. So as soon as I turned 16 for my 16th birthday, I got a gym membership. I know that sounds so freaking sad. Like for most 16 year olds, it'd be like, why would John do that but I knew that my mum loved doing it so much and I was just like oh my god I want to do that since I turned 16 I got a gym membership um I was obsessed ever since um and I just to be honest I always I've always just felt like I just am fat <laughs> I knew that's so like brutal but I've always felt that I just need to lose weight and I first started my journey um with exercise running just cardio just pure running i was like why would i go near the weights i'm a girl like girls don't use weights like i i know that now is not true but obviously i was just like oh i see all these girls running obviously my mum loves running um and i just built up really like a lot um really actually really good at running because when I first started, I couldn't run for like two minutes. I'm not even joking. And then I built up to running for like an hour, over an hour, um, non-stop with my mum. And we'd do that every day. I'm not going to lie. We'd go to the gym every single day. Um, and then when I got to about, well, it was just after I left school, I, um, I started going to college to do dance. So I was in a college where I was in a, um, I was a dancer. Um, and I then, st it was so hard to go to the gym after college because it was such long days. It was, I'd get up at about half five in the morning to start getting ready because obviously I was in dance college, I had to do my hair and my makeup. Um, I then couldn't fit in as much, I really couldn't. And I'd go to circuit training classes because it was just across the road from my college, funnily enough. And I would just go there on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I wouldn't really include the gym even though I was I was exercising all day because I was dancing but it just wasn't as intense as what I had been doing so I did gain a bit of weight when I went to college I, I did and I was just so unhappy with my body like, all over again 
and I was just like, I threw it all away. Like, I was in college and everyone was just eating rubbish and I also got a boyfriend after I left school, who I still have now. And you know when you just first get a boyfriend and you just eat like takeaways and just, you're going out for food and everything like that. So yeah, obviously I naturally gained a bit of weight and I was not happy again. And then I started thinking something needs to change in my food. And I was so unhappy in college, so I left college, blah, blah, blah. I told you this was going to be a long story, sorry if it's boring. Um, but yeah, I started, long story short, I started counting my calories and I started weight training. And that is when I started being actually really happy with my body. Um, only recently have I started um, really focusing on my calories. I'd say nearly a year now. And that is where I've noticed the biggest change in my body. Um, cutting my calories so I'm not going to go into how many calories I eat and all that shebang but because everyone's different but yeah so when you ask how do I stay motivated it simply is just myself I keep myself motivated I feel like no one can make you as motivated as you make yourself so if you want to do it you'll do it and if you don't then you don't and there's no point in doing something you hate like I know it's good to keep your, your health good but if it's going to make you miss bomb, then don't do it. Um, but I honestly feel that now I'm in a routine of like counting my calories and fit like that. And it's great. I love it. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I, don't, I can't imagine never not counting my calories. But if you really want an in detail, um, like situation about my body and stuff like that because I'm not gonna lie, I have actually lost a lot of weight um, and toned up a lot my body's completely changed I've got like I've been taking pictures along the way so if you did want an in detailed like my fitness journey I suppose um, I can obviously do a full video on that and attach pictures attach pictures mm. um, but yeah anyway long story while I was just talking about that, I used the Doll Highlighter Palette, um, and I, to be honest, I just mix them all. I can't really pick one shade, I just mix them all. Um, so yeah, and I just put the, obviously, where you see me put it. Um, it's amazing, I love that highlight so much. Um, so yeah, let me answer another question. That was such a long one, I'm sorry. I got, someone actually direct messaged me this, I don't know why, but they said, can you talk about filler? So, yes I can. Um, a lot of people don't like to talk about this on YouTube, but I just feel like, why not? Like it's so, it's such a normalized thing now. I'm not saying it's like the best thing to do, but it is such a normalized thing now. That like it's not like a taboo topic. Like if you wanna do it, people just do it. So, right. I'm just gonna fill in my brows with the Collection Eyebrow um, Kit. So, this I just, merely going with this middle shade just kind of dust it through i don't really fill them in as such i just kind of like wear powder and stuff i've gone over them just add the color back in so yeah filler hmm yeah so the big elephant in the room yes i have had filler um i had my lips done just after i turned 18 for the first time um I had a little bit of filler put into them by a lady that I, I'd done a lot of research into it, I really had, um, because I don't believe in going, if you're going to get something like that done, I don't believe in going to the cheapest person, I really don't. I feel like if you're going to do something like that, you've got to go with someone that um, you've done a lot of research into. So I would rather spend a bit more and know that I've done the good research. So anyway, um, yeah, I went to this lady. Um, just after my 18th birthday and I yeah got a little bit of filler on my lips um, and I was so happy with them like I was uh, another story though I didn't actually tell anyone I was going to get them done so yeah I didn't tell anyone I didn't tell my boyfriend didn't tell mom didn't tell my dad didn't tell anyone so I just come home with my lips done and yeah it didn't go down great it really didn't go down great um, yeah don't do that if you're gonna i would 100 percent recommend if you're gonna do something like that definitely speak to your parents first 
mm, don't copy me and don't tell anyone. So yeah, because my mum and dad are, I'm not going to lie, mum and dad are, they're not against filler, but they really didn't want me to do it. So yeah, I got a little bit of filler on my lips and I absolutely loved them. I was obsessed with them. They gave me so much confidence um, and I thought they just changed like the look of my face. And then, um, a whole year later, I got some more filler. Um, so that was back in January. Um, so again, just before my 19th birthday, um, I got filler. So I'm not gonna lie, my second lot of filler, I wasn't, at first I did really like it. Oh, at first I didn't actually. The first few days I didn't. Um, Cause if you go back on my Instagram photo, I've actually posted a picture when I was out for my, 18th bir my 19th birthday meal and they look so big. They look like, because they were still swollen, I had them done the day before I went to Manchester. So yeah, not a great decision, Erin, not clever. Don't do that again. But yeah, anyway. Um, filler. I don't, definitely don't think I'd get it again. I'm not gonna lie. Um, sometimes I watch footage back and I hate my lips. Sorry, it cut out. But sometimes I watch the footage back and I hate my lips. I feel like they look too big. Um, but yeah, they, to be honest, my face keeps filler for a long time. Um, I don't know why. It just seems to, um, hold on to filler. So, I'm definitely not going to get my, well, I say definitely not, I don't know what the future is going to be like, but for now, I'm not getting any more filler. I've said that to my mum and sister the other day, um, I'm not getting any more filler. I don't feel like I want to change anything else at all, um, but I don't have anything against filler at all, and I feel like um, in years to come, um, I'll get Botox 100%, because I just feel like, um, well, you can do whatever the hell you want. Like, it's literally up to you what you get done. Um, I'm just getting back in with that bronzer and putting it underneath my eye. Um, so, yeah, overall, my um, my answer on thoughts on filler is do whatever the hell you want. But also, do your research. Don't just go to the cheapest person because they've got an offer on Facebook. Like, you've got to go to the person that you've done your research with because if you're going to do something like that you've got to invest in a good person I feel like yeah you just have I mean there might be great people with offers on I'm not saying because we've got an offer on they're not good but like don't go to someone just because of they're cheap that's what I'm trying to say so yeah um anyway I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I'm gonna go in with a mixture of mascaras. I'm gonna go in with the Bad Girl Bang by Benefit and the Rimmel Volume Lash Mascara. Um, to be honest, I'm not picky with my mascaras. I feel like they all do the same thing. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, filler. If you want it, get it. If you don't want it, don't get it. But I wouldn't promote it. I 100% wouldn't promote it because I feel like not gonna lie, I don't. I don't think I cop, like copied anyone with getting filler. I don't feel like anyone pushed me to get filler. But I do feel like when you see things on Instagram and stuff like that, it does without you even realizing, um, make you kind of want it. Um, and like I don't know. Don't feel like you've got to do it because everyone else does. Um. So yeah. Um, I'm going to look for another question so I can talk about it. Food you hate. <laughs> this is just like a bit of an easier question to answer. A food I hate. I hate like things that taste meaty. I don't like things that taste like, for example, I hate steak. Like, I say I hate steak. I don't know if I hate it. I haven't tried it enough to hate it. But I would never order it because... I just, I don't know, it just seems too real to me. Like, the only kind of meat I eat is chicken. Um, because I don't feel like it tastes very meaty. Um, I also eat a lot of, like, corn and vegan alternatives. Um, just because I prefer them, to be honest. And I feel like if you can make a good change somewhere, then, um, you might as well. So yeah, and oh, foods I hate, actually I hate beans, like I, I know that's random, 
hate beans and i also hate tomato and i hate sauces like i hate tomato sauce it's oh my worst thing ever i absolutely hate tomato sauce um i don't know why like i really don't know why but it's just not a bit of me i know a lot of people love it and that's like such a controversial topic because a lot of people love it but and i'm also this is talking of controversial i'm a barbecue based pizza kind of girl yes i'm a barbecue based pizza person i know pineapple does not belong on pizza also while we're there um I'm gonna have to nip to the toilet because I'm telling you now. I'm gonna pee my I'm back. Um, that's a whole other issue in itself as well. Also, <laughs> recently I've been drinking two full ones of these a day. I know I haven't done great today actually. It's two o'clock and that's all I've drank. Mm, that's what I was gonna say. I've needed the toilet. I don't know if this is like too much information, but I've needed to give her away so many times a day like oh my i literally can't go anywhere without there being a toilet i don't know if like that's even normal because i've been drinking that much water for ages now like i thought your body's meant to get used to it my body just doesn't seem to get used to it i i've been doing my w one walk a day um i have sometimes had to run home to go to the toilet because I am that person for the toilet. Um, it just comes from nowhere. Um, but yeah, that's an issue. If anyone else has the same problem, let me know. Also, another thing I wanted to talk about was um, YouTube and where I want to go with it. Um, so, my main content on here is um, like fashion and stuff like that um like fashion and haul kind of videos but um to be honest they are my favorite kind of videos i do love them but i also like videos like this like i like trying um brands like hair brands because obviously i love to look after my hair um but also i wanted to know what kind of videos you guys prefer would you prefer me just to focus on fashion and just go that way and just do hauls and test brands um or like what can do you want me to do everything or i don't know i don't know where to go with it but my aim is by the end of the year to get 500 subscribers like to a lot of people that's like oh my god that's nothing but 500 subscribers by the end of the year i don't know if it's doable i think it's a bit of a big aim to be honest but we can do it we can do it um so yeah this is kind of my finished look to be honest. I need to see my lips, but um, I don't use a lot of, oh. I don't use a lot of products on my lips, especially like when I'm just, I'm just inside. So, um, I mainly use this high shine lip gloss by number seven. Um, is it a shade? I don't know. Um, I just put it on and kind of rub it in on my lips just to add a bit of colour back um so yeah obviously I'd love to be doing YouTube full time I'm just focusing my time on YouTube because I do love it but at the same time um obviously we can't all do that uh financially I can't just do YouTube uh but yeah obviously that is the big dream um, that is my finished makeup I'm ready obviously I'm not ready because I haven't got my outfit on but who said I was going to put one on today <laughs> um, so yeah I'll take to a bit on the whole um, thing here um, so yeah this is my makeup for the day um, thank you so much for watching this video end conclusion is very impressed by the beauty works hair products um obviously i haven't tried the extensions or anything like that which is the main thing but i don't use extensions so 
not gonna do that just for a video. I mean, I might one day, who knows. But today, that is it from me. Um, I actually have a, another video coming up very soon, which is my ASOS um, order. So I'm gonna be doing an ASOS haul very soon. The order is on its way, so as soon as that comes, I'm gonna film that and get it up as soon as possible. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're still here at the end, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below that you got to this point. Um, yeah, so thank you. If you're a new subscriber or, or a new, what would you call it? Like a new viewer, please subscribe and become a subscriber. I've recently hit 160 subscribers, which I was really happy with. I know that's like nothing for some people, but 160 was a lot for me. So yeah. Thank you so much everyone, but if you could share this video like I said in my last video, please share and check out my other videos, my Opoly haul which I did just my last video, um, please go check that one out, that's a really good one, and yeah, please stick around, give the f uh, video a thumbs up, turn on your post notification bell, and also check out my Instagram, because um, I'm very interactive on there at the moment, so that will be linked down below, thank you so much for watching and goodbye <laughs>